Hello and welcome to this tech tip from Will. In this video, I'll look at how to install additional Windows features for Windows 10. By the end of this video, you'll understand what Windows features are, where to find these Windows features, and how to enable and disable them. So, let's get started. So what exactly are Windows Features? Windows Features, in a nutshell, are optional add-ons for the Windows 10 operating system. When the Windows 10 operating system is first installed, the install files for these optional add-ons are copied from the Windows 10 installation media onto the computer. These optional add-ons are called Windows Features. By default, once the installation files have been copied across, only some of these Windows features are then installed. The majority of the features, however, are not installed. Regardless of whether a particular feature is installed by default or not, the install files for all Windows features are still present on the Windows 10 computer. Having the install files stored on the computer gives the administrator the ability to install Windows features later on without having to insert the Windows 10 installation media. Although Windows features are extremely useful in some cases, they're not necessary for all users. In a lot of cases, you can achieve everything you want from Windows 10 without ever needing to change or configure Windows features. In cases where you are required to make a change to Windows features, the most likely reason for this is that you're working for a business that has very specific needs, and thus the feature is required. One point I'd like to make, however, is that not all Windows features are available for all Windows 10 editions. In other words, the Windows features which are available to you will ultimately depend on which edition of Windows 10 you're running. Take, for example, the Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services, Containers, Data Center Bridging, and Device Lockdown features. These features are only available on Windows 10 Professional and Windows 10 Enterprise editions. If you're running Windows 10 Home Edition, these Windows features will simply not be available to you. It's also worth noting that some Windows features also require appropriate hardware in order to be installed. For instance, let's consider the Hyper-V Windows feature. Computers running Windows 10 Professional or Windows 10 Enterprise will have access to the Hyper-V Windows feature. However, in order to install the Hyper-V platform, which is a subcomponent of the Hyper-V Windows feature, a processor that supports second-level address translation and hardware-assisted virtualization is required. If the required hardware is not available, or if it's been disabled, the Hyper-V platform cannot be installed. To understand Windows features a little better, I'll now change over to my Windows 10 computer so that I can show you where those Windows features are located and how they work. To access the Windows features for this Windows 10 computer, I'll right-click on the Start button and will then select Programs and Features. This opens the Programs and Features control panel applet. Once in the Programs and Features, notice in the top left corner we have a link to Turn Windows Features On or Off. If I click on this link, this will open the Windows Features dialog box. Another way of accessing these options is to click the Start button and search for optionalfeatures.exe. Running this command will also open the Windows Features dialog box. From here, we're able to manage the Windows features available to this computer. If a particular Windows feature is already installed, the feature will have a tick in the checkbox. If a particular Windows feature is not installed, the checkbox will be cleared. In some cases, you could find that a checkbox is coloured in. If the checkbox is coloured in, this means that the Windows feature is partially installed. In other words, only some of the subcomponents belonging to that feature are actually installed, not the entire feature. If I scroll down through the list of features on this computer, you can see that there are a lot of features that can be managed. These features include .NET Framework 3.5 and .NET Framework 4.6 Advanced Services for application support, Hyper-V for virtualization support, Internet Explorer 11 for web browsing, 
Services for NFS, to share files with Unix-based systems using the Network File System Protocol. Telnet Client, for remotely connecting to other computers. And TFTP Client, for transferring files using the Trivial File Transfer Protocol. As I mentioned earlier, these features do have their uses, but not all of them are necessary for running a Windows 10 computer. Nevertheless, if you find yourself in a situation where you need to install one of these features, simply tick the checkbox for the required feature. In my case, I will tick the checkbox for the TFTP client and will click on OK to install the feature. Windows 10 will immediately begin installing the feature. The majority of features will only take a moment or two to install. When the installation is complete, Windows will prompt you that Windows has completed the requested changes. Depending on which features you install, you may be asked to reboot the computer to complete the installation. In this case, a reboot is not necessary. That's it for installing a Windows feature. To uninstall a Windows feature, simply relaunch the Windows Features dialog box and clear the checkbox for the feature you want to remove, in my case the TFTP client again. When I click OK, Windows will apply the changes and will prompt me when it is complete. As you can see, installing and uninstalling Windows features in Windows 10 is quite easy, but you can also achieve this by using Windows PowerShell. To show you how this is done, I will first open an administrative PowerShell prompt from the Start menu. Once in PowerShell, to view the names of the different Windows features on your Windows 10 computer, simply run the commandlet Get Windows Optional Feature, followed by the online switch. When I press Enter, PowerShell will return a list of Windows features and whether or not these features are enabled or disabled. From this list of features, simply locate the feature you want to install or uninstall. In my case, the name of the feature I want to install is TFTP, which is the TFTP client I installed earlier. As you can see, PowerShell is reporting that the current state of the TFTP feature is disabled, meaning it is not installed. To install the feature, run the commandlet Enable Windows Optional Feature. Next, add the online switch to ensure the commandlet is running against the operating system on this computer. Next, I will add the feature name switch, followed by the name of the feature I want to install, which in my case is TFTP. Lastly, I will add the all switch. This switch ensures that any parent features required are also installed. When I press enter, the commandlet will run. At the top of Windows PowerShell, you can see the progress of the installation. This should only take a moment or two. When the commandlet does complete, I can see that a reboot of the computer is not necessary to complete the install. That's it for installing a Windows feature using Windows PowerShell. To uninstall a Windows feature using Windows PowerShell, all you have to do is run the commandlet Disable Windows Optional Feature followed by the online switch to run the commandlet against this computer. And then by the feature name switch and the name of the feature TFTP. When I run the commandlet, PowerShell will start to uninstall the feature. Again, this will take a matter of moments to complete. Once again, PowerShell is reporting that a reboot is not necessary to complete the uninstall. That's it for installing and uninstalling additional Windows features. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. For more videos from Tech Tips from Will, check out our YouTube page. And be sure to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Many thanks and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip.